So Peter Pan and Wendy is soon to be released, and it's a it's a movie that unfortunately I'm going to have to watch and review since a lot of people have asked me to do so. Uh, thankfully, it is on Disney Plus, so I could just borrow someone's account and not have to spend money to go see it in the movie theater. But again, this particular movie is filled with an ungodly amount of identity politics, the likes of which is very typical for a Disney movie. Now, why am I talking about Peter Pan and freaking Wendy again? Or I should say the Wendy movie, because honestly, it's pretty obvious from the trailers that Wendy is going to be the one that matters in this movie, but Disney's Peter Pan and Wendy director apparently just recently defended his decision to add girls to the Lost Boys and says movies should be for everybody. Now, the funny thing to me is that whenever they make these kind of decisions, um, that's to say that movies apparently are not for everybody, which is weird because movies inherently are for everybody. Whether or not they decide to go see that particular movie is based on that genre that they may or may not be interested in. But the movie is technically for everybody. There's no such thing as saying girls can't go see this movie. Uh, guys can't go see this movie. Gay people can't go see this movie. Black people can't go see this movie. There's no such thing as that. Movies are for everybody already. So when you try to use that as an excuse for doing something stupid like adding girls to the Lost Boys that everybody knows is not really a thing, it pretty much makes you look pretty stupid. But let's get into the article and see what it has to say. But of course, before we do, guys, consider giving this video a like to push us out into the YouTube algorithm. So it says, uh, offering one of the weakest defenses for Disney's virtue signaling thus far, even by the company's own standards, Peter Pan and Wendy director David Lowry has justified his film's inclusion of young girls in the ranks of the Lost Boys on the grounds that the movies should be for everybody. Look how much bigger Wendy is compared to Peter Pan on this on this poster, man. Tell me, tell me this is a Peter Pan movie. It's not, bro. This is a Wendy movie all day long. She is going to girl boss this movie hardcore. Peter Pan is going to get sidelined just a bit in the movie. And Tinkerbell, thankfully, is already a small character, so they didn't have to worry about shrinking her on the poster for the Chinese market. It says, Laurie spoke to the creative decision during a recent interview given to SFX Magazine via CBR, leaning on the concept of diversity and inclusion, of course, because why is it not always diversity and inclusion? To justify his expansion of the Mischief Makers roster, the director said of the change, movies should be for everybody, and it doesn't change the movie at all. Well, it definitely does. I don't think these people understand what the actual meaning of the word change is. Like, change means something that has changed from what it once was to what it is now. And even if it's a minor change, it's still a change. Now, in this case, I wouldn't consider this a minor change. I would consider it a pretty fundamental change for the simple fact of it's literally in the name of their group of people. They're called the Lost Boys. If you wanted to add girls to it, you could have just called them the Lost Kids, but you decided to call them the Lost Boys because you wanted the girls to feel like one of the boys. Like, this is their whole ideology that they keep pushing in their movies where it doesn't even make any fucking sense you should have just called them the lost kids and moved on with your life but again that's neither here nor there for disney it says it's the same story everybody grew up with he continued to east their own but it's their loss they're going to miss out on a great movie going experience i highly doubt that i genuinely highly doubt that because if it was going to be a great movie going experience you would have released it in theaters instead of just putting it on disney plus so we all know that this fucking girl boss movie is going to be absolutely terrible in every way possible it says further lowry asserted that despite facing so much criticism over his alterations to the source material including both his aforementioned addition of female members of the lost boys and his tired race swapping of tinkerbell he was really excited for kids who get to discover this tale for the first time and for this to be their version of the lost boys and and Peter, and Tinkerbell, and Captain Hook, and Wendy. The old versions are all going to be there, but for a certain debtor generation, this will be their introduction to the story, and I'm really excited that it will be the one they think of when they think of Peter Pan. God, I really hope not. I really hope not. I really hope that this Peter Pan and Wendy is not the one that these kids have to grow up with because, again, it is a subpar version of the original. That's always the case when it comes to Disney live-action remakes. It's always subpar. It is never as good as they were because you lose the magic when it comes to the animated film. These soulless remakes that are completely used just to cash cow in, like, it's not... They're never going to have any soul. As seen in his debut trailer, the Lost Boys and Peter Pan and Wendy will feature a number of girls among their ranks, including Birdie and twins Tootie and Rudy, the latter of whom are shown taking offense to Wendy's pointing out the disconnect between the group's name and its membership. However, in an ironic twist, this attempt by Lowry at forcing female representation actually undercuts the source material's truly empowering explanation behind their absence from the group. Now, this is the best part 
to me about this whole changing because again it goes to show the fundamental misunderstanding of the characters that they're actually adapting and they're going to have to change the entire origin story of the lost boys if they're even going to make this make sense which listen it's disney they very much might change the origin story for all i know i highly doubt they're going to keep it the same knowing that the lost boys are specifically the lost boys for a reason and they're going to get into it in this article so let's read it it says in his original novel the little white bird Peter Pan creator J.M. Barry explicitly states that there are no lost girls because infant girls were simply too smart to fall out of their cribs and wander off. Therein, Peter himself explains to Wendy that the lost boys are the children who fall out of their perambulators when the nurse is looking the other way. If they are not claimed in seven days, they are sent far away to the Neverland to defray expanses. He adds, I'm captain. Met with the reaction of what fun it must be from his new companion, Peter laments in his reply, yes, but we are rather lonely. You see, we have no female companionship. Pressed by Wendy as to whether or not none of the others are girls, the almost mythical youth confirms, oh no, girls, you know, are much too clever to fall out of their pram. At present, Peter Pan and Wendy are on course to land on Disney Plus on April 20th. So guys, we are four days away from Peter Pan and Wendy. We are four days away uh, at the time of this recording. I'm not excited at all. <laughs> I'm really not. And chances are when I review this movie, I'm going to have to break it up into parts because there's no way I'm going to be able to review an entire movie in one YouTube video. People just don't have the intention span for that. So I'm going to break it up into different parts and uh, that should make it a lot easier for people to consume the content and see exactly what this movie is dealing with. But again, guys, uh, if they made small changes like this, and again, I don't really consider it a small change, but let's give them the benefit of the doubt. They, ch they made this change. They made the change to Tinkerbell. I guarantee you they're going to make a change to Wendy's character. The overall story regarding Peter Pan, Wendy, and Captain Hook. They're going to give Wendy a lot of girl boss moments. A lot of stuff is going to change in this movie. And it's just not going to be interesting. It's going to look bland. It already looks bland. If you look at the trailer, it looks very bland. And it seems to be just one of those uh, typical modern day rehashings that they try to do to try to cash in on money. But this one is supposed to help garner subscriptions to Disney+. Plus. That's the whole goal. Otherwise, they wouldn't have put this movie movie out on Disney Plus and if it was as good as they say they would have put it out into the theaters but they have no faith in this movie and for good reason I guarantee you 100% this movie is going to suck and I will be reviewing it so stay tuned for that review on the channel in the coming days so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe I would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and I'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out